Over the past two or so weeks, basically, we've been working on the entire new hot side of the kit. Bumped up from the G35 series turbos to the new G42s. As a result, we basically had to redo the entire hot side of the turbo kit. Had to build all new turbo inlet adapter assemblies off the original exhaust manifolds. New titanium three and a half inch exhaust, titanium dump tubes. Redid the mounts. Uh, basically, like I said, the entire back end of the car got redone. So good amount of work went into this. We went from the G35 1050s to the G42 1250s, I believe. Uh, I think we should be expecting to gain about another 400 horsepower, I believe. And we just made burn plates for the bumper right here, so we had cut holes in the bumper originally over there to have the exhaust exit up high like that. Um, just due to the exhaust that we built, we needed slightly different burn plates from the second version of the kit technically to now the third version so redid that we're gonna get those powder coated today um, from Dennis at Coated Car Parts send those out get those back I do need to modify the passenger side compressor outlet slightly to work with our intercoolers a little better but that shouldn't be too any anything too crazy and then also on the driver side turbo inlet assembly we're gonna add a bung so Martin can measure back pressure Whatever it is, it's a pretty big lip there, so pour it up to the black sharpie line. Smooth that wall ones? out. Dude, my man's made this look like a cast piece. That's what happens when you spend an hour porting it. We're just gonna roll this lip so basically any exhaust gases coming into here don't hit a hard wall. Um, air likes to be guided, it's technically a fluid. Fluids yeah. like to follow smooth edges, not hard walls. Gotcha. So that's why we ported that real nice too. More power, baby. More power, baby! Yeah! Well, this is the suspension for the drag rainbow. Since we've been running stock suspension the whole entire time. This suspension was originally on that car when it was filming for Netflix. So uh, we took it off. We did some work on them. Basically, we just had a valve more for drag racing. Uh, we changed the spring rates a little bit. And we upgraded the rears to be four-way adjustable. So we have low and high speed compression, shaft compression, and rebound. And the front is still three-way adjustable. This is your low and high speed compression. Low is up here, high is down here. These and are the fronts you said, right? These are the rears. Are the rears. Okay. And then uh, um, this will be shaft compression, this will be rebound. Okay. Uh, and the fronts is low and high speeds on the reservoirs. And then rebounds right here. Gotcha. Which, once the tops are they are adjustable through there. I can't put these together until I take them off, the suspension off the car, because we still are going to have the lift system on it. Oh, so this can still actually work with the front lift? Yeah, this still will work with the front lift. Okay, so these springs were actually made purposely for that, so it goes to jerseys and the OEM stuff. <laughs>
what do we have here? We have Jordan's Drag Huracan. We made a few changes to it. We were running uh, smaller turbos on it before. We're actually running turbos very close to the size we run on our production uh, Alpha kits. Uh, the really quick spooling are the G35 based turbos, but we maxed them out. Uh, we made just about 1800 wheel horsepower on these things. The car went 760, 60, at 186 I believe on these things, but again, we're out of turbos. So we stepped it up a little bit. We put some uh, G42 1200s on here, uh, gear turbos. So uh, quite a bit more headroom on these servos than the other ones. Uh, we made some with our few small changes, some more sensors here and there to gather some more data points to help us uh, forge a path forward from here. Um, we got a ethanol sensor here now so we can start mixing some ethanol instead of just using race gas. That'll help in a, in a few areas. That's about it, nothing other crazy major changes. We made some, some suspension changes. Uh, on the car, some other minor things, but again, the goal is to make some more power without stressing out the turbos or anything else so much. Um, I think I'm hoping for really 19, 1950. Anything after that is kind of gravy. I don't want to push too hard. I don't think we need to push it too hard to go quite a bit faster. So uh, we'll see what it does. Let's hear it run. All right. and thank you for watching today's bonus vlog. Uh, TX2K was a complete success. We want to say thank you to everyone that came out and supported us. Um, we will be announcing soon the next event we're going to be going to and hopefully go deeper into the 7s. So uh, if you haven't, follow us on social media, AMS Performance on Facebook and Instagram. Also make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell clicked for the channel. We will be posting episode 2 of TX2K Behind the Scenes this upcoming Monday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And other than that, uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.